Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Eat, Burn, Sleep, this is Yanda. I'm here today to talk to you about a topic that has been requested on Instagram. I was one of my followers who purchased the seven day plan, was delighted, she was like Yanda, thank you so much, you're so kind, we're allowed to have coffee on the seven day plan. I was like, yes, indeed, you're allowed to have coffee, but if you read the small print, up to two cups a day and uh, no more than two cups a day because if you have more than two cups of coffee a day you are more likely to increase your cortisol levels and that is the stress hormone and if your cortisol levels are high you have more uh, chances of building fat around the waist um, and that is you know a, a big sign of stress when people have uh, fat deposits around the waist and so many com people commented on that, and like, oh my God, uh, is there anything else that increases uh, cortisol levels? And indeed there is, there's a lot of stuff. First, there's stress. Stress releases cortisol, which is the hormone of stress in the body. Cortisol shuts down the, the other hormones, uh, shuts down insulin, endorphins, all the good food feel-good hormones disappear in the presence of cortisol and um, so that's why it's quite important and actually on the plan I have a whole paragraph about how you need to work on calming down your mind for weight loss and for health and well-being um, being calm and being as um, I wouldn't say stress-free because stress allows us to be very productive so we do need stress in our lives and in fact in the morning when we wake up our levels of cortisol are naturally higher so we go and get uh, and do things uh, but it's too much of that that is destructive and can harm us um, so stress releases cortisol in the body um, and it is important to work on our mind, as I was saying, um, and having a little mo morning routine, you know, of gratefulness, maybe a little prayer and something morning and evening just to make things just calm down. Um, not necessarily quiet down. I have a very active mind and I've come to terms with the fact that for me, it's very hard to think of nothing. Uh, but praying helps me. Praying and doing prayers of gratitude and praying for other people's well-being calms me down and brings all those hormones down. I can feel it inside. I can feel my you know, heart rate slowing down. I can feel my breathing slowing down when I do that. I do switch off when I do yoga and, and, and there's some physical element to it. Then I stop thinking. Um, but anyway, I'm digressing here. Uh, the other thing that causes uh, cortisol levels to raise is very hard exercise. Um, so if you do some, you know, all these classes that are super tough, they create um, increased cortisol. And I know I'm super sensitive to it. And although I, I love it and I always get dragged in the, these classes by some girlfriend, they don't work on me. If I want to lose weight, I need to do yoga and Pilates and things like that that actually calm you down rather than, or even like walking for a long time is quite meditative, but doing things that are hard, which raises my cortisol levels and I find it harder to lose weight. Um, and I mean by that, you know, like sprinting and doing tough workouts when you jump from one thing to the other, to the other with some very loud music and I come out of them and I'm like, oh, I'm not relaxed at all. Some people enjoy it, but it's not my thing. And they are known to increase your cortisol levels. Um, so there's coffee, there's stress, and there are tough workouts. These are, uh, these are the main things that increase your cortisol levels. Um, and if you want to decrease them, as I was saying, calming your mind down, doing things like yoga, pilates, walking, 
uh, or even you're swimming but not too hard for a long time is quite meditative and that brings the cortisol levels down. Um, slow cardio basically. Um, I'm not saying that's all you should do when you're working out but if you want to do a workout that brings the cortisol levels down that is a good one. I hope this will, was helpful. If you like these kind of videos just give me some thumbs up so I know and I will release more. Uh, I, um, yeah, and if you want to find me on other channels, I'm on Instagram, Eat, Burn, and Sleep, and I have a blog, eatburnsleep.com, where I share recipes and health tips, and you can find my seven-day plan there as well. Um, I wish you a great time, a wonderful day, evening, whenever you're watching this. Thanks for watching, and goodbye. Guys, I forgot to add that if you want to follow the seven-day plan, which focuses on bringing low inflammation levels down, but side effects are weight loss, glowing skin, great hair, and very good um, and gut health. Sorry, I'm putting the link down below. I keep getting asked, oh, where can I buy it? And I forget to link it. So I'm remembering it now. I'm linking the seven day plan, which is £9.99 below you can click on it and it'll take you to the page and then you can download it on your devices i've done an ebook so you can just walk around uh, you know and you know exactly your food lists so when you go to restaurants when you go to uh, if you go to restaurants if you go to a supermarket uh, if you're in your kitchen wherever you are you can access it it'll be on your device uh, but obviously you can print it as well if you like uh, yeah have a good one